Hi everyone, welcome back to Marriott's Koi Pond. Just a little uh, September update. Uh, for those of you that follow my channel, uh, I don't know if you remember that silver birch tree there. Oh, it's my pride and joy that was. Well, actually, it's not mine. It's the next door neighbours. But look what they've had done to it. Oh, they've had tree surgeons in here and they've just lopped it about, totally ruined it. That was a perfect specimen, that tree was. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. Oh, look at the state of it. What a shame. Love that tree. But anyway, really pleased with how this has turned out this year. This little half barrel we turned into a little mini water garden. And it's a bit late, but at September we've got a flower on a lily. Hopefully, uh, it's not too late for that to flower. I hope so. You know, which is Here's the latest acquisition at Kahaku from Gatwick Koi. That's the uh, Adam Boyer Grow and Show Gahaku. Sancho Shower from Quenny Winter Event. Let's put some size on it this year. So everything's fine with the pond. Still feeding heavily. 22 and a half degrees at the moment in the pond. So they're still on sacky uh, floating growth. A bit of balance sinking. And I've just uh, at the weekend started introducing some colour food. Next door neighbour also got the tree surgeons to hack this back a bit as well where it's going over a fence. Again, you know, call themselves tree surgeons. Look at that stump they've just cut off there. No shaping to it whatsoever. Just gone mad with a chainsaw. Look at that stump they've just left there. Ridiculous. The bonds are doing well. Green horn beam.
I had a bit of dive back on the mind your own business in the shower so I ripped it out and put some fresh stuff in there. That's just starting to take hold. The Semper Vivums, the house leaks on top of that shower, they've really started to multiply. Here is the big crash you go it. Gin ring crashy. Black magic, doubt if you can make that out. Planted this grapevine back in the summer. It's done really, really well. Hopefully, grapes next year. I'm trying to get along there, along the edge of that pergola, and also. Trying to get along there as well. Sexy frog doing okay. But look what they've done to that tree. Completely ruined it. That was a gorgeous specimen that was. That was a stunner that tree. Absolutely nothing wrong with it at all. Why she done that, I have no idea. But then she's a bit funny like that. She's a bit, uh, I don't know. I won't say too much. In the filter house, nothing to report in here. Uh, power washed the drum screen this morning, get all the biofilm off it. Uh, I have got an amalgam UV sorted underneath the, the screen on the drum itself, but you know what, I haven't had to put that UV on at all this year, just no need for it. Ah, I know what I was going to say. I know what I was going to say. I was rooting about down in my bottom shed. Just having a mooch about. And I found this, you know. I didn't even know I had this. I found this in the bottom of a box. Or years ago, I bought some uh, second-hand like, wind turbine parts. Never got round to doing it. Anyway, but I was mooching about in the shed a couple of days ago and I found this. It's a 600 uh, watt grid toy inverter. Now, I've already got 3.4 kilowatt on the house roof, which is obviously helping out with electric, but obviously, with the way these prices are going, I found this and I'm gonna utilize this. I'm gonna stick this on the wall Gonna stick this on the wall there, make up a plywood uh, backing for it, stick it up there. And I'm gonna run three, that's a 600 watt grid toy inverter. So on top of the pergola, on that polycarbonate roof, I'm gonna stick three flexible solar panels, 175 each, watts each, which I think comes to 550. So it's I'm under the threshold of this grid toy inverter. So 
you know, it's only 500 watts, 550 watts, but 550 watts is uh, not to be sniffed at. So that is my next project. That would help offset this pond. I mean, obviously the, uh, the solar panels on the roof are already offsetting this. Uh, there's a box of tricks I've built into it that uh, as soon as it hits the threshold of what the house and pond is using, uh, it gives you a buffer of 100 watts and it diverts all the power rather than diverting it back down the grid it diverts it uh, to the emerging heater so I get free hot water, hot water costs me nothing in the summer that is, you know in the winter it's practically uh, practically non-existing the hot water side of it but it still generates a little bit of power to offset this pond but in the summer this house and pond is for nothing but I'm just thinking of the future, and like I say, the way these uh, electric prices are going, I'm going to utilise that. Stick that on the wall, as I say. 375 watt flexible solar panels on that burglar. That should bring me 500 watts. Hopefully. Well, that's it guys. Nothing else to report really. Just like I say, September update. Six point eight pH. That's in fact six point nine. TDS is a bit higher than what I would have liked, but then the amount of food I'm throwing in there, and I really am throwing a lot of food in there. I've got some tremendous growth on some of them fish this year, so I expect to see that tumble. You know, when we get nearer Christmas. Our own unit is, I haven't had this on, oh, two weeks, you know, because that pH is staying pretty stable, so I haven't had it running. Homemade Tempest doing its job. A lot of the plants in the garden are is uh, dead or dying due to the very dry summer we've had, but they'll all bounce back for sure. The grass is greening up anyway. That was <laughs> that was mustard yellow last week. Well, that's greening up. swing seat spend hours in this right that's it gang thanks for watching uh, if you found in if you found the video interesting please like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time thank you for watching bye